Hi, this is Mark with Right Line Trading. Uh, this is our evening newsletter, starting with this disclaimer uh, that all, that, uh, all uh, signals of trading opportunities that we provide uh, are for educational demonstration purposes only. Um, but, but everyone should understand that participating in the markets involves substantial risk and a person can lose a substantial amount of money. Uh, always carefully consider your financial position prior to trading. Um, to, uh, discuss your uh, trading with a, uh, a financial advisor and never risk more than you can afford to lose. Now, I just want you to know that this coming Sunday at 6 p.m., I'm going to be providing uh, traders uh, in a webinar with the three best trading strategies to use in a market like this, in a choppy market that moves up two days and then takes a dramatic fall to the downside. You may think you know, but I'm telling you, you don't. And if you'd like to participate, uh, if you don't get a link, you can always let us know at right, you know, at uh, info at rightlinetrading.com, and we'll be more than, more than happy to provide you with a free link. This 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 could normally be a two hundred forty nine dollar educational session. I'm going to have you come in for free, and I'm going to show you the right way to trade a choppy market. Now you're going to get a little bit of an idea when I show you um, how we did today. And um, let me just move to the charts first. Uh, let me go to Microsoft. You know, Microsoft is a long position. And if we look at Microsoft today, what we're going to do is we're going to look at a very short term chart. Let's just go back five days and let's look at a one minute. Now we can see today that Microsoft has tremendous relative strength. It was very resilient to any pull down by the market. Now it closed to the downside a tiny percentage but this is how you escape getting really beaten up in a market in which the uh, tech and the Nasdaq takes a dramatic drubbing to the downside um, now I'm just looking at my ticker because because there are three stocks that I wanted to show you now Obviously, hedging your positions is a key component of trading. It is really not what I'm going to be talking about on Sunday, which are really options configurations. Um, but we have a hedged portfolio. And we have Teladoc. I already traded it once to the downside. And it took a pasting today to the downside. Now, we bought puts on Teladoc, and we are in very good shape. Now, normally, I, we, we made so much money on, on our Teladoc puts on a percentage basis, because uh, I don't know if you bought one position or you bought 10. But, uh, but on a percentage basis, Teladoc really beat it to the downside. Teladoc was down today um, over 6%. Very, very weak stock. And, and we have that short. Now, we also have, we got into Twilio short. Now this is a position in which we really need a lot of additional follow through. Twilio, after looking like an exceedingly weak 
position, you can see at the open, it just jumped up. And then it was just dragged down by the enormous pull of the market. And we wound up making money on Twilio, but we have, we've got to see a much bigger fall. Now, so Twilio, so we have Teladoc to the downside, did outstanding. Microsoft to the upside in a terrific tech environment today um, with the NASDAQ down 269 points held up really, really well. And then we have Twilio short. It held up pretty well. And we wanted to break down. So everything worked for us today except Twilio. So I don't want to give you the impression that everything we we take turns turns to uh, turns to uh, gold because it's a tough market to trade. But our position on Teladoc expires tomorrow. I took a three day position. So when we get a nice move down on Teladoc, um, we will make really really good money tomorrow. Now it's really going to move pretty much in lockstep to the uh, to the underlying stock because we've got no time premium left. Uh, but we'd like to see, uh, we'd still like to see it move down a, a significant amount. Um, we've got nice time uh, left on uh, Microsoft and Twilio uh, to try to bring these into, in, uh, uh, into line. Um, I'm still extremely bullish on Microsoft and I'm very bearish on Twilio. I think it is way overpriced um, but you know my opinion doesn't matter it's the opinion of the market that matters and as you can see if I, I'm not going to move to a higher time frame Trulia has, has really uh, moved against us now let's see if we can get our money back we started today and let's see if we can get a breakdown now right here you've got a swing pivot uh, we're pushing into it. We can, if we can get through it, maybe maybe we can see a nice move to the downside. Now again on Sunday, I'm going to give you the three best options configurations, option strategies that are the most likely to provide you with with really really nice money in a market environment like this, and, uh, where it, it's extremely choppy, uh, determining the direction on any given day any given week or any given month is extremely difficult the talking heads don't have a clue these are the three best ways to handle the market not only avoiding losers but really tilting the odds dramatically in your favor so have a wonderful wonderful night i look forward to talking with you tomorrow and hopefully i will see you sunday night at 6 p.m everybody take care